the GSNC Sports Network. We might get into our third segment here, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you again to please like and follow the show. We do get a number of questions from viewers, so to ensure that your question does get right in the air, please use the link gsmcpodcast.net. Really does help the show, and it really does mean a lot, so thank you so much for that. And let's get back into the show for today. All right, moving into our third segment here, it is going to be talking about the San Francisco Giants and their trade deadline. But before you do that, actually, I did. there was two pieces of news that were significant that just did happen in this five-minute time span, like two-minute time span while I was over break. First off, Bobby Miller of the Dodgers was optioned. That was very interesting. He's, he's, kind of, he's kind of been mainstay in the rotation for a little bit now. He had a really bad start yesterday, but getting optioned was not something I expected, so I think I'll talk about that tomorrow. And then also, Wander Franco, we all know the news about him. I was wondering, I was debating if I was going to mention it or not, but he, of course, did have criminal char- charges uh, officially filed against him in the Dominican Republic for you know the stuff. I'm not, I don't really want to talk about it because it's very disturbing and unfortunate, so I don't really want to mention it, but I'm sure if you look up Wander Franco, you know it, but he, if you'll know it, but he has been placed on it. He has been placed on the restricted list by MLB, so it seems like it's it's coming to his end, an end his career with, with baseball. So just want did want to mention that, but going to a more uh, happy topic, I guess, about the San Francisco Giants. And uh, yeah, so today Varhan Zaidi did have some comments to the media just about the trade deadline, just about his team in general, and I just did want to kind of talk about my thoughts on the San Francisco Giants and their trade deadline and just really going over this team and what I think of them. So let's get into it. So Varhan Zaidi did say that he doesn't really think the Giants need to fully add like a big name. He thinks that if they are going to add maybe guys around the corner, could be good. Guys, you know, really just around the edges could be good players. So it that that is interesting. And I just want to talk about it. Just give my overall thoughts on this Giants team and just what I think about them. So Right now, if you look at this Giants team, you look at the NL West, of course, they are in third place behind the Dodgers and the Padres. They are 10 games behind the the Dodgers, two and a half behind the Padres, tied with the Diamondbacks actually for third place as well. So that's also there. And then the wild card, they are two and a half behind in the wild card. Braves, Cardinals, Padres, Mets, Diamondbacks are above them. They're tied with the Diamondbacks, but you got what I mean. So... Looking at this Giants team, I think the question we have to ask is, are the Giants going to buy? Are they going to sell? Are they going to do nothing? Are they going to do kind of a hybrid? And honestly, I've kind of changed my mind about the Giants over these past few weeks. I kind of think they're a good team, and I kind of think they should buy. Now, I'm going to explain why, but I think they could be a competitive team. Now, I think a lot of teams, have to, you have to find something to stand out within the center wild card race, and I think the Giants do. The main criticism I've had for them is there has been their offense really this entire season. And you look at the stats right now, it's gone, honestly, it's gotten much better. Like, there are definitely some pieces here. And it's definitely improved a lot, and there's been a lot of things that I like about it. First of all, you have Matt Chapman. He's done much better as of recently. 113 weighted runs created plus, and with the offense he has, I mean, that's very valuable. Jorge Soler has been much better recently. Still not great with a 1 or 2 weighted runs greater plus, which of course on paper is fine, but when you don't play defense and when you're the DH like he is, obviously that's not exactly something you want. You would like to be much higher. So I still I think I still think that's solid numbers, but again for a DH, you, you know, it needs to be better, but he's been better recently. Mike Conforto has been a very good bat in the corner outfield. Patrick Bailey has become really a superstar catcher for this team. Cleet Ramos is an all-star bat now. Mike Jastrzemski is always going to be a very solid bat. Lamont Wade has been really good at first. Like, there are a lot, there's a lot to like here for this Giants team. I think they have a good catcher. I think they have a good first baseman in Wade. Um, you know, their middle, their infield is a little bit iffy, but I'll go over that. Third base, Chapman, good. Outfield, Ramos. Uh, you have Ramos. You have Jastrzemski. You have Conforto. You then have Soler at DH. I like it a lot. And honestly, the pitching, I've talked about it before, but there's a lot of talent here. You, of, you of course, have Logan Webb, who is a certified ace in this league. You have Kyle Harrison, who has become a very nice young starting pitcher in this league. You're getting back Alex Cobb. You're getting back Robbie Ray. Um, you're getting back one of the person whose name is completely slipping my mind. You have Jordan Hicks there as well, who is really good. So, yeah. There's a lot to like about this Giants team, and I think that, honestly, I think they should buy. I think their rotation, once it gets healthy, once it gets to that second half, could end up being really good. Oh, sorry, Blake Snow is who I meant to say, but they actually got him back yesterday. So 
he's there in that rotation as well. And I'm sure he's been, he looked better recently. Once he gets healthy, I'm sure he'll be a better pitcher. Maybe not to the Blake Snell. The Giants fully expected him to be, but I still think he'd be a very solid piece. And honestly, the Giants have some clear needs, but I think they're fixable. And I think that they should go for it. I think this is a team that has a lot of nice pieces. Again, their pitching rotation is very good. I really like that top two of Cobb and Harrison. I'm a big, sorry, of Webb and Harrison. I'm a big fan of Alex Cobb. I think Robbie Ray can end up being a pretty good player. I think Blake Snell can only do better. I mean, obviously. And there's a lot of good pieces. I think really what you need to work on is the middle infield. You, of course, have Wilmer Flores and Nick Ahmed there for the majority of the year, but Flores has not done great this year being in a full-time starting role. I think maybe moving him to the bench in a full-time platoon role could be nice. And shortstop, you just DFA'd Nick Ahmed for assignment, so obviously it did not work out. So if I'm them, I'm trying to get a middle infielder. Maybe they call up Marco Luciano from AAA finally and make him the starting second base for that shortstop. That could be interesting. I don't think it happens, but hopefully. And, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of there's a few middle infielders you could get. I think Jonathan India is someone I've mentioned a lot in the show, but I think he can make a lot of sense to end up slotting into that maybe that shortstop second base position for this Giants team. I think I think Jazz Chisholm makes a lot of sense for this Giants team. He also really fits the mold that they like of versatile players. I mean, you look at the guys they have, like a Wilmer Flores, like Lamont Wade Jr. They are very versatile players, and you know, Giants. I think Giants really like that kind of mold for their players. So. I think he can make a lot of sense filling in at second base and shortstop. So, honestly, I think the Giants have some pretty good talent here. I think that they should end up buying, and I really like what they have going for them this year. I really didn't expect to say that, but over these past few weeks, I've kind of quietly observed what they've done. As a, I've observed the talent in their team. I've seen how much they're, how, 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 how well the hitting has done over these past few weeks or so. The pitching coming back, which I've talked about a few times in the show as well, so... I think there's a lot to like right now. I think there are a lot of good pieces building up within this Giants organization and this team right now. And yeah, I think it's very exciting if you're a Giants fan. I think there's a lot to like. And yeah, I think overall, it's very, very exciting to end up seeing what is going to happen with this Giants team. Now, looking at the NL wildcard is where it gets tough. You just have to think about what teams you better than. And I don't know if you're fully better than anyone, but I don't know if you're not. I think that a lot of these teams are on the same path. And you look at a team like the Cardinals, the Padres, the Mets, the Diamondbacks, the Pirates, the Reds. I think you're on around the same level as those teams. I think maybe I would prefer the Mets or the Padres to you. But I also think that if you add some talent, if you add some significant talent and players here, you could be on that level. And I think the Giants have the prospects to do it. They have the depth within the organization to do it, and it'll be very interesting to see what they do. But if I'm them, I'm buying, and I wouldn't think twice about it. I think they really do have a nice future here in San Francisco, and I like what I like what they're adding. Now, um, going after that, if you are going to sell, I mean, man, you could really sell a lot. You could get a lot for Matt Chapman. You could look to maybe sell a guy like Mark Ustremski. Maybe even get Wilmer Flores, even though he isn't hitting right. Maybe even Lamont Wade, if you really want to truly blow it up. I just don't think it's really worth it. So, if I'm the Giants, I'm, set, I'm buying, buying, buying. I think there's a ton of good pieces on this roster, and I'm really investing into it. I think that there, again, is a lot to like here, and a lot of nice, talented players that I really think could propel this Giants team to contention, and really make and claim for it to make the wild card, and end up making the playoffs. I mean, obviously you're not going to win the division. You're not going to beat up the Dodgers, but you can win You can win the wild card, I'd say, and I'd be excited to see it. So very interested and, yeah, just very excited to see what decisions are made here for this Giants team and Giants franchise. So, yeah, that is my third segment here, talking about the San Francisco Giants and the potential trade deadline they could have. Moving into our fourth segment here, we will be talking about some AL All-Stars that were surprising, some guys I really did not expect to be all stars to not talk about and just talk about their seasons and just going over what did happen for them. So yeah, going into that and we'll see you after the break. So thanks and bye. For the best and latest podcasts available anywhere, go to the podcast app on your cell phone and type in GSMC to access 